the formidable robot. Fanaticism is often present in many different cases. It can be for a musical group, books, movies, video games, or television. The latter is interesting because many of us grew up with it. We witnessed many television shows that turn out to be masterpieces compared to current shows, or at least that's what it seems to all of us who saw them from a young age, and it in in Eddie is no exception. I grew up watching this show daily as a kid. I just loved it. It was my favorite show. That's how I entertained myself before I used the internet, so I thought I could relieve memories of the show by looking up episodes on the internet or on paid services, and sure enough I was able to do so. One day while I was browsing, I came across a blog that was run by several people, where users who liked the show as much as I did were sharing their opinions about it, and how the show had left its mark on each of them and what it meant to them, and how the most recent episodes didn't compare to the classics. I didn't hesitate to join in the comments and state my stance on the matter, but the forum wasn't just about opinions, people were constantly sharing ideas for episodes they would have liked to have seen, drawings and illustrations made by the community in reference to the show, and more miscellaneous stuff. One of the most active users who called himself, Ed216, the name Ed with two Ds, contributed a lot in all aspects, he gave his opinion on everything, he drew and even edited videos of the program to make parodies or things like that. If you could say that someone worshipped the show, it was him. In one of his posts from a few days ago, he sent photographs where you could see what seemed to be the walls of his bedroom, where he had a large drawing with all the characters of the show, or at least the main ones, excluding the cruel sisters. But something strange could be seen on the wall of his bedroom, some characters from the show, in particular, Ralph, Kevin and Naz, had a red dot painted on their heads. In the post, the user commented in English. I'm done with Ralph, who's next? And in the comments of the post, there were people giving their opinions, they also mentioned names of various characters, but the most mentioned of all was Johnny. A short time later, the user made another post where he said, The choice has been made, so Johnny will be next. You know what you have to do, you have six months. In the post, I attach a bunch of images of Johnny of all kinds, both drawings and images taken from the show itself, even a RAR file called, Johnny's Moments. It seemed a bit strange to me and I was totally confused, since I didn't understand the dynamics of the project. I had no idea what was going on, so I checked old posts by Ed216, and among them I found one from about six months ago. In that post, he did something similar to what his most recent post did, a kind of call where he uploaded content about Ralph and encouraged users with the same message as before, you know what to do. The problem is that I didn't know what to do. Traveling to much older posts, I could see that he made the same type of calls but with Kevin and Naz, and in the latter's post which was the oldest, no character had a red dot on their head, and in Kevin's post which was the next one to Naz's, she did have a red dot on her head. It wasn't difficult to deduce what said red dot meant. The user marked the character's head after their respective call ended, but it seemed very strange to me that every six months he made a kind of collage about the character in question, and then marked their head to continue with his strange mechanics, but now with one more character. I resigned myself to not fully understand what was happening, and instead set about appreciating the content he had uploaded about Johnny, and after looking at the images for a long time, I noticed something strange. Small tiny marks on the photographs, so small that they only took up a few pixels. They were extremely difficult to find, perhaps I was slowly understanding the dynamics, there had to be clues to something, but I don't know what it is. The first clue I found said, V344035P4. Although I didn't understand well, I wrote down the clue in a notes blog, and continued analyzing the images, and some clues were hard to find. I realized that in some cases, it couldn't be seen with the naked eye, because the background colors hid the text or in other cases. I even had to edit the image to appreciate the clue, but they were all of the same style. 
Watching the videos, I could see that they were nothing out of the ordinary, just regular videos, so I dared to send a message to the user asking what the dynamic consisted of, but days, weeks, months went by, and I never got a response, so I forgot about the whole thing and dedicated myself to my things. Sometime later while I was cleaning my PC, I came across all the files that Ed216 had uploaded, and the notes blog he had created with the clues I found, there were 10 clues and they all ended with a letter P and a number. I decided to base them on that to order them from 1 to 10 just to kill time, and I started doing the math. The 6 month deadline would soon be up, in a few days in fact, but I didn't pay much attention to it and continued with my thing. The day arrived, and the deadline was met, and I had not managed to interpret the clues, until at the last moment, a flash came to my mind and I understood, perhaps the clues indicated a video number and its time. I began to review the videos, trying to find something in the specified duration time that each clue marked, and I could notice for a thousandth of a second a frame different from the rest of the video was projected. I tried to pause the video at the exact moment, in which the image appeared but I wasn't able to see it, so I used a video editor to be able to stop the precise frame, and that is how I could see it clearly. In a part of the frame, a small character appeared, like a letter or a number, so I collected the characters as quickly as I could based on the clues, but the character of the last clue was different. It added Z.onion, so I could notice that, being everything together, a kind of link belonging to the deep web was formed, and using the appropriate browser, I entered with a little effort, anxiety and fear at the same time, and there it appeared. It was a very strange page, which had a video window in the center which said, the transmission has ended. Whatever had been shown on the page had concluded, I had arrived late. I visited the blog again, and a post made a few minutes ago appeared where Ed216 said. I just broke up with Johnny, who's next? And he uploaded a photo of his wall again where Johnny now also had a red dot on his head. I felt frustrated for not getting to see whatever happened, but at least now I knew what the dynamic consisted of, maybe I could get to witness the next transmission. Now in the post, many suggested Sarah and the second most voted was Double D, in with two Ds. I was constantly checking the blog, but it was not until after three days that Ed216 made another post, where he said the following. Well, Sarah will be next, but I didn't like how many people voted for Double D. He will be the last one, and I want to make that clear once and for all. This is getting too easy and I'm giving you too much time, so now things will change a bit. I'll give you only three months to solve it, and the clues will be much harder to find. Anyway, you have three months, you know what to do. Like other times, I attached a bunch of files referring to Sarah, and although I already knew what to do, it was extremely difficult to find the clues, they were more hidden than ever. You had to flip the images, join them with each other, in short it was a lot of work, but after a great effort, I was able to complete it in just under two months. I found the 10 clues and the 10 hidden characters in the videos, and so I was able to join the link. I tried to enter and a message appeared that said, the broadcast starts in, 1 month, 3 days, 3 hours, 24 minutes and 49 seconds, and the counter was going down. Apparently I had arrived too soon, so I dedicated myself to doing my things in what was left of the time, and I wrote in my reminders to visit the page when the broadcast was going to start. The established time passed, and I logged back into the link, there were two minutes left for the broadcast to start. I was anxious to see it, but I had to wait those few seconds for the broadcast to start, and it started. A man could be seen wearing a black leather mask with ordinary clothing, and he began to speak in English. He was welcoming and congratulating all the users who had been able to solve the riddle, and that as a reward, we would be among the few to witness his act. He remained silent for a few seconds and then left the frame, so that the camera could capture what was in the background. It was a woman tied up and dressed in a pink shirt and blue jeans, and her hair was horribly painted in a strong orange tone, as if it had been by force. It was not difficult to deduce that it was some kind of cosplay of Sarah, however it was noticeable that this woman was being subdued against her will. The man who had appeared at the beginning of the video entered the scene, wearing rather sloppy clothing that closely resembled Double D's. 
He began to yell things at the woman and hit her. I couldn't make out what he said exactly, but I managed to understand one or two insults. The blows became increasingly lethal, the woman screamed for help but no one came to save her, the brutal man took a large kitchen knife, and began to attack the woman, starting with her stomach, continuing with her arms and ending with her face, until the woman stopped screaming. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was a total carnage. The murderer took the intestines from the woman's corpse and showed them on screen. There was a small comments section, in which everyone asked for different parts of the body to be shown on screen, from limbs to organs, but I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to go to the bathroom to vomit, and I stayed there looking at myself in the mirror. I didn't understand what was happening, and I was terrified to go back to my computer to close the page, but that's when I stopped hearing noises coming from the PC. I went closer and the transmission had ended. I didn't know whether to call the police or to keep everything I knew to myself, so I decided to forget about it and pretend it never happened. I tried to blot the event from my mind at all costs and forget about the blog in 216 and everything that happened, and I decided to never visit the page again. They say curiosity killed the cat, and maybe that's true. It's been a few months since the horror I saw on that broadcast, and I've decided to visit the page again. All this time I've tried not to think about it, but I'm thinking more and more about it. I start to think about all the people who have already died that way and all those who have been dying while I haven't visited the blog, but I feel unable to do anything. Maybe if I notify the authorities, my life will be in danger. I don't know. The most recent post which was two months ago, mentioned that Eddie would be next, and in the picture, almost everyone had a red dot on their head, except for Eddie and Double D, that meant that in my absence he had killed Jimmy and Ed, if we can call the innocent victims that. He had given a deadline of three months again, so in a short time, he would broadcast Eddie's execution live. I completely regret having visited the blog, I closed it, and as much as I try not to enter again, curiosity ends up getting the better of me. A month has passed, I am punctually checking the blog, and as of today, id216 has published something. Okay, we are done with Eddie. All we have left is the big prize, you know who's next. I'll upload Double D's content tomorrow. Throughout that night, I questioned myself whether it would be best to forget about the subject or observe what happened to the next victim, since the killer identified himself as Double D. So again I could not overcome my curiosity, and I was willing to dedicate all the time possible to solve the riddle and access Double D's video, and hopefully the last video that this psychopath will transmit. As I had said, id216 uploaded content, and indicated that this time, he would only give a deadline of one month to solve the riddle. I began to think that perhaps said riddle would be extremely difficult to deduce, and I was right. I think I had never seen such a difficult riddle in my life, it was hell to solve it. I had to use image and video editing, and I even had to investigate a little of other languages, such as Chinese, Latin, Portuguese, German, among others, to decipher the clues, but a few hours before the deadline, I was able to solve the riddle. I got into trouble, when I found out that some of the clues were false, but I solved it in the end. I went to the page, and this time it was a little different. In the middle, there was a message that said, the broadcast will start in. 2 hours, 14 minutes, and 5 seconds, and the new thing was that under this message, there were several videos, videos with names of the characters of the series. I clicked on Sarah's video, and indeed it was what I feared, they were the videos of each of the characters. I perfectly recognized Sarah's because it was the only one I had seen, and I decided to watch the others. For the love of God, those videos became more and more grotesque. The first ones were murders that could be considered simple, with firearms for example, but as it progressed, they became more and more lethal. Naz's was the shortest of all, it was a clean shot to the head. In Kevin's, the victim was beaten with metal pipes that seemed to be parts of a bicycle, and then he was re-killed with a gun. Rolf's was pretty grotesque, he was skinned alive until he died agonizingly, but perhaps the most shocking thing is that his remains served as breath for a bunch of dogs, and it was all on video. Johnny's was somewhat predictable, he was beaten with a board with a face on it until he died. Sarah's, you already know what it was. 
and perhaps the most grotesque was Jimmy's, since they installed several torture devices on the victim's head, I just wasn't able to see it all. In Ed's, the victim was put in a large pit that seemed to contain oil, so you could see that he barely fit in it, and he was boiled until he died. And finally, Eddie. In this video, the victim received a rather lethal torture, he was forced to carry bags that seemed to be full of coins and walk back and forth, and every time the victim tried to take a break or threw a coin, he was beaten with a whip by the murderer, while this evil being said. Isn't that what you always wanted Eddie? Between watching the videos and taking short breaks to try to process what was happening, time flew by and the broadcast had started. When I opened the video, it was already playing, but the killer was visible, with Double D in the middle of the screen, thanking all the viewers for their effort in solving the puzzles, and for their perseverance with the videos, he said goodbye and left the shot. He returned accompanied by three horrible girls who were like a kind of interpretation of the cruel sisters, each one possessed a knife, a hammer, a baseball bat, and a metal pipe. While Double D left, the cruel ones began to beat him brutally, but even so, Double D didn't stop laughing, as if he was enjoying what was happening to him. After a few blows, they concentrated on his head until Double D stopped laughing, but they didn't care and continued until they disfigured his skull. One of the girls moved the camera, pointing at Double D's corpse, and said. Have you ever wondered what's under Double D's hat? And they lift the hat, so that the viewers could appreciate the grotesque image of Double D's broken skull with remnants of his brains. That was simply too much for me, I closed the page immediately, and went to the bathroom again to vomit. I've been locked in my room for several hours, I don't know what to do. I don't know how anyone can live after seeing everything I've seen. I don't even know if what I saw was real. I can't tell what's real and what's not anymore, but fortunately Double D is here with me. He's very intelligent, surely he can explain to me what has happened. What do you think about this Double D?